Good morning, St. Francis. It is Tuesday, February the 16th, 2021. Tuesday of the sixth week of the year, the sixth week in ordinary time. It is also Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday, the last day in which we will hear the glorious Alleluia sung or said in our masses uh, before it is silenced for the 40 days of Lent. Um, coming to you from an undisclosed location. Uh, but today's gospel sets us up perfectly for Lent to begin tomorrow. Jesus guarding against the, the leaven of the Pharisees and of Herod and of the apostles not understanding anything that he is saying. In fact, it is a gospel of riddles and questions and more riddles and more questions. Again, Jesus says to the apostles, uh, do you not have uh, eyes to see and ears to hear with? Are your hearts hardened? Do you not understand? Why do you keep not understanding? What Jesus is basically getting at the heart of is what it means, or what, what, what his earthly message means, what his mission on this earth means, you know, which is opening up horizons, which is allowing us to see more deeply what sometimes we take for granted, which is allowing us to appreciate the goodness of this earth, the goodness of one another, not to be bogged down in what we think has to and must be done, but in reality, understanding how much freedom and how much openness God embraces us with. So that, we, so that we might become the people that God has created us to be. Lent is meant to open us to that. It is not a time of navel gazing and beating ourselves up for all the mistakes we made. It is a time to run into that great embrace of God, the great embrace of extravagant affection, the great embrace that says, I love you for who you are. And that is all that matters. For us to come through Lent with that understanding reshapes our thoughts and thought patterns, reshapes our perspectives, reshapes our horizons, reshapes who and what we are meant to be as believers in this world, which is our challenge, which is our command, which is that which makes us different than the rest of the world. On this Fat Tuesday, in which we celebrate all that is good for being human, because as Ecclesiastes say, it is good to eat and drink merry, because these are from the hand of God. Let us come to appreciate how wonderful it is to be part of a creation brought into existence by a God who cares so deeply for us that he comes to share our very life with us. On this Mardi Gras, on this last day of winter ordinary time, may the Lord give you peace.